The government has handsomely rewarded the war veterans by availing mining concessions to them to ostensibly boost its chances of turning the mining sector into a 12 billion US dollar industry. This development was announced by the Information Minister Monika Mchangwa during a post cabinet media briefing in the capital on Wednesday. The cabinet received and adopted sundry updates of the mining sector as presented by the Minister of Mines and Mining Development, Winston Chitando. The sundry update is towards the 12 billion U.S. dollar mining industry, Muchangwa has said. The cabinet also approved a number of special grant applications in the following categories. Extension to current special grants, which have suddenly been exploited, empowerment of war veterans, mining syndicates, and strategic development and expansion projects towards the 12 billion U.S. dollar milestones. After President Emerson Monangagwa indicated a few months ago that war veterans would play a crucial mobilization role for the Zanop ahead of the 2023 elections, many believe the mining concessions being doled out could be a thank you in advance. The ruling party recently formed a new wing, the War Veterans League, to strengthen and broaden its campaign strategies ahead of next year's polls. Nangagwa, who has been endorsed as the Zanopiev presidential candidate, is expected to square off against Citizens Coalition for Change leader Nelson Chamisa, whom he narrowly beat in the disputed 2018 elections. The 1970s Liberation War fighters appear to have cornered Munangagwa after demanding that he also approve commensurate benefits, including loan guarantees and rebates for duty-free car imports, before they can back his 2023 re-election bid. A few months ago, the government announced that 160,000 war collaborators had been successful fully vetted and were eligible to receive their payouts after missing out in the 1997 first round of disbursements.